CHYS invests first in around four to five different themes. Remember, an investment is not just about putting money in a project or putting money in an investment. There has to be an, an underlying well-researched theme that you want to invest in. Now, we invest in Karen uh, gated communities. Why Karen? Karen has the highest concentration of high-end schools anywhere in Kenya. Just think about the high-end schools, where they are located. Karen has the highest concentration of high-end schools anywhere in Kenya. So in both good and bad markets, Karen will do very well in terms of residential. Wealthy individuals, expatriates want to send their kids uh, to schools in Karen. The second theme that we really do like is compelling demographics. If you look at uh, the 10 fastest growing towns in Kenya by demographics, six out of 10 are in Kiambu County. If you do real estate in a place with compelling demographics, you'll always do well. So Kiambu County is the next place that uh, we like. So the third theme is mixed use development. Uh, mixed use development have better resilience than single-use development. So let me give you an example. Something like commercial office is a single-use. When something like COVID uh, happens and we had work-from-home uh, approach to, uh, to working, a lot of offices have uh, suffered. But if you look at something like uh, Yaya Center, which is a mixed-use development, what do we mean by mixed-use? It has offices, it has retail, and then it has a serviced apartment it's more able to be resilient uh, in any particular economic up or downturn because it has several aspects of the real estate. So that is why we bought four acres in uh, Kilimani where we, we intended to put a mixed use development. So that's the third uh, uh, theme that we like. We also like gated communities, um, well-planned gated communities. That is why we made an investment in superior homes um, we are the second largest uh, shareholder in Superior Homes. Superior Homes is the developer behind uh, Green Park Residential Estate on Mombasa Road. So those are the places where you'll always find us putting money. Karen, compelling demographics, serviced apartment, mixed use, and well-planned gated communities. Those are the five themes. Now, under each of these five themes, if you look at Karen, we have a marriage. We have Applewood and we have C2 Village. Under compelling demographics, we have Taraji, we have the Alma, we have the Ridge, and then we have uh, River Run. Under serviced apartments, we have Sai Suits Apartment Hotel, and under mixed use, we have the four acres uh, in Kilimani. The goal was to have uh, a mixed-use development dubbed site on towers, but of course with the change in the market environment, we are now looking to actually offload those, uh, that four-acre piece of land um, in Westlands. And of course, in terms of um, well master plant gated uh, communities, as I said, we are the second largest uh, shareholder in Superior Homes, and behind, and uh, Superior Homes is the brand that is behind uh, Green Park that is on Mombasa Road. So that is the vast majority of where CHYS is invested. So even when people uh, uh, use the, this derogatory term that, look, CHYS is a Ponzi scheme, I mean, if you look at this asset, I would actually say, show me another real estate developer that has a better mix of well-selected, carefully researched real estate portfolio than the CHYS portfolio. CHYS only has one issue, the funding is short term, the assets are long term. When something like COVID hits, when there is a shock on the funding side, it quickly becomes uh, illiquid. And that's the issue that we are dealing with. It's not an issue of uh, the fund lacking underlying asset. It, ha it has really good assets. It just needs time to turn that particular asset or those assets into money and send the money back to investors. So uh, another way is that the money is very safe. It just happens to be in 10 well-selected real estate products that will need time to restore liquidity and send the money back to the investor.